Hey there guys, this is Jet Seekers, and I am bringing you a video game review. Yes, my first. Well, I did one of War for Cybertron for DS, but then that was not so good. 90% of the time, you just were seeing Bumblebee running through all the stages. Well, anyway, I'm doing Blazing Angels Squadrons of World War II for Wii. Um, I might as well just cover the box. A nice picture of a Spitfire right there flying over the Tower of London with a couple of bad guys chasing in a bomber going down. Also, there's a kind of U.S. flag back there. And then, of course, Blazing Angels, the squadrons of World War II. Rated T for teen and adolescence. Um, oh. Uh, contributed by blah, 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 ESRB, whatever. Ubisoft. Okay, experience the true feeling of flight. These are some of the lactage in tendies. Spanish, of course. Use the Wii Remote and Nunchucks for in fugitive aircraft control and experience the new sensation of flight. And you get some pictures of um, Paris stage. Um, uh, that looks like the uh, Pearl Harbor and then the uh, London. T for teen language and violence. Uh, nice picture of one of the characters. Um, great graphics, too. Um, so um, that's pretty much it. You, you open it up and you get your... Uh, little manual with everything in it. Oh yeah, there's the other manual. The instruction booklet gives you all. I'll just also run down the uh, controls. Okay, Wiimote only controls, so kind of tilting it forward, back pitch, tilting it, rolls it, and turns it, and there's, sim there's two modes. Arcade and simulation. Simulation. Simulator mode is hard. Okay, then you got the Wii mode sensitive, where basically you're controlling this all like this to make it fly. Same with simulation. Nunchuck sensitivity. You use a nunchuck like that to control it. And then, uh, first you got classic arcade, where it's like basically you don't tilt anything, it's through everything else. And then classic inverted, which is my preference. Then you got the interface of how you shoot everything down. Hmm. So I don't have that plane. I am in the middle of this game. Uh, and of course, you got the rocket launching interface with the little um, target thing right there, and I'll show you it all. Got the characters: Tom, uh, Tom, Frank, uh, and uh, Joe, and then yourself. And campaign and blah blah blah, and we're done. And of course, then a little bit of an advertisement for TMNT, the video game, the Ninja Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I say we get started playing this. This will be a multiple part. Okay. Now off to the TV room. So hey there. Um, I've got my video game system. I've got the video and the Wii and my Wiimote. So all it's really left to do is just um turn it on. Put it in. Nate, get down. Turn down the volume. And we're good. So the game so you select the game like any other by selecting on the Wii screen, then hitting the start button. Like everyone knows if they own a Wii. And then it's just black and gives you the usual safety tip to make sure that you keep the wristband on at all times, because you don't want to smash your TV. Come on. And we're done. But it's of course, it's licensed by Nintendo, and you need the nunchuck to play it, although not technically if you're using the Wiimote only setting, which I played, and it's good. And it just doesn't want to stop telling us that. Aha! The copyright date, 2008. Oh man, that Ubisoft logo just scares me. Going through a tunnel backwards. And of course, Ubisoft! And Ubisoft presents a Bucharest production. And there's a famous quote by Winston Churchill. There was a film, but we skipped it. Because we've just made this review far too long. In fact, it's already going to be in two parts. And it's loading. And of course, you press the plus, press the plus button. You select the profile. And of course, it just shows that. Aha, now you can do the campaign setting. I'm currently on, currently on that level. 
and it goes back through history and I'll just show you the first level training and of course it gives the whole history about the start of World War II there's the plane that you're flying the gladiator old plane biplane uh -huh, take off and landing instructions of course you can pause it and read it if you want or you can just read it right now insert joke and of course classic inverted arcade the setting that I will be using which is a pretty good setting that gives you kind of the feel like you're in the cockpit sorry about the shaky cam and of course just all that it does mm. and of course you start out on the runway with a little introduction by our instructor who is a guy named Joe incidentally and no he's not British and of course now you get to start take off simply by throttling up and pulling back on the toggle on the nunchuck if you're using the classic arcade setting which I am and we're airborne of course you can just fly about this is the arcade setting so you can't you can do a loop but you can't do a roll and of course you can set it so that you're inside the cockpit which gives you a feeling like you're actually flying the real airplane and but of course with this kind of airplane yes it has four machine guns which is actually very useful and so you just so I'm just gonna, just demonstrating it and of course now we're gonna come in for a landing simply line yourself up with the runway and retard the throttle of course in this kind of airplane with the high nose and the big propeller in the front it's kinda hard to see the runway so landing is a bit of guesswork but from what you from what you can see I can land it and it's pretty smooth yes and you are an American and of course now you just take off again and ah uh, we're headed straight for a hill uh, and there we go and now we're the camera's a little shaky and now you're flying over a uh, small town called Dunkirk in France and your objective is to um, rescue a British away team who was trapped there and is under fire by German troops on in this kind of airplane you have like eight like t eight machine yes eight machine guns actually eight 30 millimeter cannons which is a really big kind of machine gun and just watch how easy it takes down three German dive bombers called Stukas and of course you come up get in range a fire fire and get up in fire and one goes down. Okay, the one goes down. Oh, come around and two goes down and three goes is hit and three goes down. Yay! And here comes a bigger wave of six fighters. Let's just bring her around. Fly at him. Of course, too many bombers are getting through. Says the tower. <laughs> 